Well, I was in the video making chair, so I decided to make another video. <laughs> Big surprise. Uh, yeah, look, I was thinking about this whole thing. Doom, gloom, uh, everybody's an asshole, an idiot. They really aren't. Value, everybody's values is shit. Look, we know what we are. We know where we came from, bacteria with brains, blah, blah, blah. We have this whole stupid bullshit psychology. It's all full of a bunch of crap. I want to be loved. I want this. I want that. I want, want, want. I need, need, need. Uh, and, you know, happiness is just basically uh, being unencumbered by the bullshit and being physically comfortable. So, I mean, that's the game. So, if you can get to the physical comfort part where, yeah, I feel okay. Okay, something isn't gnawing at me, obviously, physically. Pain, you know, discomfort, uncomfortableness, nausea, whatever. You're not feeling sick or miserable physically. Uh, then all you got is this psychology to worry about, you know, the want part. And if you can extract the illusion in your brain that you're satisfied, well, then you're going to be happy. It's automatically going to happen. It's like the consequence of not wanting. That really is what it is. I mean, satisfaction is really just sort of an illusion we create because we get something and we think it's what we want and we have it and we do it, so to speak. And... Uh, then we say, ah, that was good, I'm happy, I'm full, I'm satisfied. Until you, that hunger thing builds back up again and you need again. And that's, that's the malicious nature of our, the way we are constructed. I mean, we are constructed to not be satiable. And, uh, you know, and so let's, you know, and so all, everybody's just not, their eye is not on the ball and the ball is is there's this huge volume of misery out there and I mean I could chronicalize it I mean I could sit there and go through every case example of the horrors that people are living through right this minute and they're not doing YouTube fucking videos because they're so fucking uncomfortable and uh, unhappy and miserable that they don't even want to impose it on you number one number two some of them can't they just physically couldn't do it um, but it's out there. There's this huge ball of suffering out there. And you people, why so serious? You know, that's going to be the new slogan. Why so serious? Yeah, it's all a fucking party. Well, it's not a fucking party. <laughs> it's real shit happening out there. There's real motherfucking suffering. And it's just, you know, it, it's just even the way people... You know, I go back to this stupid animal thing and the deer hunting here. But I mean, look, even the idea, I mean, can't you, aren't people, I mean, can't they really imagine what it would be like to be shot with an arrow and spend the next 10 hours dying from it? I mean, can't they imagine that horror? I mean, is it, is it, does it really escape their, their imagination? Uh, I mean, they, they know what crayons are. They, 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 I mean, can't, I just, well, whatever. So anyway, um, it just seems so stupid to have this conversation like none of this shit matters. Um, you know, and the religious assholes go the other way in that they, it's, it's like they, they, they almost make fun of reality um, because they, they give it a divine purpose to all this shit. They give um, rational intent. They give, uh, you know, some sort of logical justification that is completely built on nothing. I mean, the logic's completely broken by the presumption that uh, there's perfection in engineering this insane, stupid system. Um, and it, it just, I mean, it's just so discouraging for my personal psychology. It's a huge obstacle for me to get over is the idea that humanity just isn't ready to fix anything. It isn't ready to even fix its own fucking behavior. It can't even grip, it can't even get a hold of a conception of itself that's you know, anywhere close to rational. It has to keep fucking ingrandizing the story. It keeps, keeps having to find some way it can excuse anything and it will excuse anything. Don't fool yourselves, humanity. You will defend and excuse anything. We could literally have a holocaust where five billion people die and you assholes who survive will sit there and say, oh well, it was nasty and bad, but uh, life is worth living and, you know, let's get on to the fucking and the um, why being too serious and let's build ourselves some roller coasters and fuck it. And it's just, you're so trivial. 
Um, I'm not. Look, we can't wallow in the reality. We can't wallow in a perception of, of futility. But when we're discussing what we're doing here, and when we're discussing how to politically and socially and uh, as human beings, um, you know, uh, interact and create a systems that we're going to live by, uh, yeah, then we have to be a little bit rational, and it, it, we can't have the, you know, American Idol, ma Major League Baseball syndrome brain focus we have to have a little bit little higher priorities a little bit of better perspective than this superficial oh um i like it because it's shiny and pretty <clears throat> you know and that makes it all better uh, <clears throat> i mean all this this false desire that's inside of us and we can we just acknowledge it and i'm not even saying you have to tomorrow agree to go into virtual reality but just concede the fucking point that our psychology is a it's a, it's a hideous trap uh, we are addicts. <clears throat> we are. Um, there's nothing beautiful in in our perception of even beauty. I mean, it's not a beautiful definition. It's an ugly fucking standard for how we define beautiful. I mean, just think about it. For you know, it only takes this much thought. I mean, just you know, it's just so. Um, disrespectful to character. I mean, the superficial cosmetic crap that um, inspires us and that um, satisfies us, or whatever the right word is, pleases us. Uh, it's disgusting. It's humiliating. So, so, so fucking admit your humiliation as a human being that you are a crass, stupid, superficial asshole. Let's get on to the business of trying to figure out some fucking way of, of communicating as human beings through this, this, this vapor of bullshit and uh, finding some way to fix this condition because this condition is not going to get better. It's just going to keep on grinding up and consuming huge volumes of suffering for nothing, for, for superficial you know, so we can all applaud the winner of American Idol. That's right. <clears throat> you know, people die and, and suffer so we can all applaud, uh, you know, bullshit. Absolute bullshit. I mean, what have we accomplished? What are we really doing? Nothing. And like I said, the, the grandest of accomplishments could be figuring out some way to create some sort of um, way of life that at least isn't gluttonous and putrid and um, petty uh, and just completely, you know, Donald Trumpizes the dignity of human beings. I mean, come on, grow up.